So in the last video, we set out to become oil millionaires in islands. And we pretty much got almost every single production set up to mass produce any item we need. Now guys, one of the things that is super annoying is that I've actually not gotten a single other node to spawn. Guys, look at this. I got myself copper right here, which is the first one I got. And not a single other one has spawned yet. Also guys, uh, one of the things I did in the meantime, I actually covered both of my islands with sand. That way there's no yucky grass and all kinds of other stuff going around and instead it looks like a desert where there is oil oil in desert yes big smart we're gonna be living in dubai baby all right let's get a guy to leave my island but yeah guys like i said in the last video we got a pr copper production and we also got ourselves a steel production but there's currently one little thing that has been messing with me and that's the fact that we don't have any other notes so i was just thinking dude what would happen if i went to die diggity diggity dog dimidome and i bought myself an oil deed i currently th i I think I have all the oil things ready I need. I have a I have a refinery, I have tanks, and I have a pump. So I think what I can actually do is I can buy one of these deeds and I can actually make use out of it. So let me see. I'm gonna buy this thing and I've actually have never tried this out before. So I'm very curious to see what's actually gonna happen. So let's go back to the island. All right, here we are. Oh, look at that right there. There's an oil. Wait, so wait, I forgot. Oh my God, I should have checked this earlier. Ah! Creates a temporary, temporary oil deposit on your island. 3.3 three times faster than a regular one producing 5,000 units of oil oh my god wait it's temporary i gotta go quick uh oh <laughs> Why did I not know this? Did I forget this? I don't know. Oh, no. All right, so I have an, a pump jack right here. So let's get all of this stuff set up as quick as I can. All right, it's right over here. So let's make our way over and let's investigate. Let's see if there's anything visibly different about this oil deposit right here than any other one. And it looks about visually the same. So, all right, let's see right here. I'm going to set this up in this direction right here. And if I look at this right here, yeah, I'm going to have to fuel the whole thing. And one thing that I'm very curious about is if it's actually possible to buy multiple of these. So I'm going to start off with just this one and i'll see if i can actually build multiple of these in just a second so let's see right here i need a conveyor and pull that's a one and two boom just like that so that should actually start pumping the oil now oh okay it's going oh my god holy bro that is so fast whoa whoa, whoa. okay wait, wait, wait. okay i'm gonna have to get this set up really quick oh my god okay wait so what do i want to do with this okay um uh oil. <laughs> Holy crap, bro. I wasn't ready for this. Dude, this is crazy. I, one thing I'm really curious about is how much profit do you actually make from buying one of these things? Okay, so let's see. Okay, so there's that right there. So what I think I can actually do right here is, guys, look at this. This was a little setup that I was actually thinking about just the other day. What you can do, I think, if I place myself currently one of these things right here, boom, just like so, and you actually make the oil go into there. Can I make this happen? Okay, I fell off. Crap! Why is it not working? Why is it not placing it correctly? Nah. Why does it sometimes do so stupid? Okay, wait. I think I gotta move this by one. Okay, yeah, there you go. This should this should not work. Yeah, there you go. As you guys can see, the oil is now going into here. If I'm not mistaken, it should actually start filling up. All right, I think I think yeah, she's going, baby. She's filling up. I gotta okay, okay. Speed <laughs> run. Okay, so what I want to do right now is I'm gonna go and grab myself a bunch of these. How many can I buy? I need more glass. Okay, I'll get more glass later, but I'll get nine of them for now. All right, boom. I got nine oil tanks right here, which will make for a setup of ten. So I think. I think what I can do right now, right next to the other one, I can place myself another one of these and I can actually chain these together just like so. Yeah, there you go. As you guys can see, this one now got emptied and this one got all the way filled up. Now, if this one would be full, I'm pretty confident that instead of filling this one, it will actually fill this one. So pretty much if you daisy chain all of your oil pumps together like this, you can pretty much create yourself a huge oil storage. Now, one of the, th there's one thing I slightly messed up on. And because we just started, I'm going to break it. Okay, it makes way more sense to actually place them in, in a chain like that instead of what I was doing earlier. <laughs> So let's see. Yeah, everything is now currently being filled up to this one. So all I need to do is place one of those and then place another oil pump. And by continuing this process, what I can actually do, guys, is I can buy a bunch of oil and kind of save it up for later. Because, guys, there is one thing that I learned, and that is that the actual uh, oil refineries, like the ones that turn it to petroleum, they don't <laughs> they don't actually like work quite fast enough to like really keep up with the oil uh, production most times. So yeah, as you guys can see right now, this is only, of course, my temporary setup. Like this is not like permanent but look at this right now guys we are currently absolutely taking every single bit of oil and pumping it into these uh vats right here uh, into these tanks now one of the things i'm very curious about to see is if actually we could we are first of all if we're able to spawn another oil deposit which would be kind of crazy and how long this current oil deposit actually lasts because it says it's 
temporary, but like how temporary? Like how long is it going to last? All right, so yeah, guys, as you can see, every single one of these tanks is pretty much empty, except the final one right now. The final one is currently filling up, which is exactly what we want to see. I did waste quite a lot of oil in the beginning, but hey, I mean, that's fine. I was still figuring it out, okay? Don't hate me, please. All right, so now let's see how expensive are these, um, what you call it? Uh, the oil, uh, petroleum tanks. They are the exact same price. I could, I could actually buy 28 of these. I need 10 more for an, an extra oil refinery. Okay, okay, okay. Extractor, filler. Okay, we need a filler, uh, a fuel barrel filler, but hey, that, that's okay, that's okay. We don't want a petrifier. The petrifier is crap. Crate pack, oh yeah. We, there's a bunch of things that we can actually power from oil, but we don't currently have any infinite deposits yet. So for now, I'm kind of gonna just leave that going right there. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh my God, I almost, almost forgot something. <laughs> Okay, look at this. How much is another pump jack? I need 11 more red bronze. I can actually go and get that. Here, let me destroy this thing and destroy some of these uh, chests right here. All right, boom, just like that. All right, red bronze refinery. And let's just start putting all of this stuff into here. Boom, just like so. Now, what? one thing that's a little bit of a problem is because I currently don't have any automatic gold deposits, I can't really automate this. So what I'll have to do is just this. Grab copper, grab coal, and just drop in two of these. And then put in a bunch of copper. Okay, everything's dropping off the ed edge of the world. It's not good. Okay, we got one red bronze. Okay, yeah. Wait, no, it's... What am I doing? I'll just leave this going. <laughs> Add rods. Keep producing copper rods. All right, now let's see. Okay, so we almost have one entire tank filled up. So what we should actually be able to do is we should be able to get quite a good idea of how much oil actually comes out of one of these, like, uh, special deposits. And is there currently... Okay, there's still oil getting coming out right now, which is good. Everything is going swimmingly. All right, let's go. Uh, out red bronze. Okay. All right, so we're just crafting some red bronze right now. Make red bronze faster! I hate having to do this manually. Okay, we got 10. All right, perfect. We're done. All right, so I now have all the all the uh, stuff that I need for just another pump jack. So I think it's about time. We see if we can actually have two extra oil deposits. Yes. All right, our first tank is almost fully filled up as well, which is actually good. Now, I don't know if this is going really slow. It almost feels like it's going really slow to me, but I don't know why. All right, Doug. Oh, wait, this restocks in three hours. Oh. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Oh no, ba, 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 brother, da, diggity da, dimidome. Okay, well, that's good to know that, 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 that he restocks every three and a half hours ish, which means that I think this will probably burn out in about three and a half hours, like real time. So currently, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven oil tanks. So let's actually just make it a nice little round number. Let's make it 10. All right, so let's go. Could I just connect this directly right next to it? I'm not gonna actually, I'm not gonna. Because if I ever wanna like, like reroute something, like right now, I can just break a pipe. But if I actually connect it directly to the other one, I couldn't even do that. I have to break the tank. And if you break the tank, you lose all the oil, brother. See, so yeah, as you can see right now, the tank over there is getting emptied and it's actually filling up this one. Okay, so boom. And then I just need one more. Boom, just like so. So guys, as you can see right here, we have a ton of oil pumping around, pumping and going. Dude, it's absolutely banging over here. This is going perfectly. It's going amazing. Now, one thing that we're gonna have to do actually is we're gonna have to turn the oil into petroleum because petroleum is much more valuable and it's... It's just like dumb to not do so. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I think I have to place this right there because it needs to go ding, 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 and ting to the input there. There, boom. So this is now getting oil. Perfect. Now, all I need to do is I quickly need to hook this up to a coal totem and a conveyor, just like so. And then what I should actually be able to do now, guys, is that I should be able to actually uh, take out all the oil right here and turn it into petroleum. So I just need to make some petroleum tanks right now. I'm going to make another like nine, I think. But I got to get more glass. Okay, I'll get some more glass right now. So yeah, I think that should be running right there. Blah. I need more glass. Give me the glass, baby. All right, I should have enough glass now. And boom. Okay, let's see if I can craft another nine. All right, I can. Perfect. Oh, but I got a natural oil. Yes. Woo! Yes. I got another natural oil deposit spawn, which means that that one will always exist. Oh, this couldn't go any better. Yes. Oh, yeah, baby. This is exactly what I was hoping for. All right. So let me actually quickly finish setting this site up right here because it's just going to take like a second. All right. So in an output right there or uh, input right there. Sorry. And then all I need to do is just wire this from over here to over there. And as you can see, it is now producing petroleum. Now, there's one thing that I currently don't fully understand, which is a little bit annoying. is exactly how the pipe chunks is worked. So junctions will split one pipe into two pipes. And I get that part. But like, what is the input and what is the output? 
put? I don't know. Because if you look right here, right? Like, if I place this, it actually says it now. I don't think it said it at first. Okay. Okay. I see what you're... Oh, okay. It now says what it does. Okay, that is good to know. So I'm sure it splits everything 50-50, which is actually what it, you want. So that's good. So let's see. Let's connect all these together. So it's going to actually drain from there and go all the way into here. All right. Now everything is almost done connecting. And boom, baby. There it is, guys. Here is our current oil setup. Oh my God, dude. This actually looks so good. Like this is exactly what I was hoping for. So this is a temporary setup. Okay. I want to preface by saying that, but a lot of you guys might be wondering the reason for some of the things I've done right here. Currently, I don't have any way to actually extract the um, petroleum and like turn it into anything. I have no way of doing that. So currently it is actually the best for me to just leave it in these like uh, pump, like pumps, like these, uh, these, like these holders that just hold the oil. So because that way I could use it at some point in the future, I can always extract it and I can always put it back in if I ever need to. So currently I'm just storing it. So what I'm actually going to do at some point in the future, I am going to create a huge field entirely filled with these tanks. And it's going to be the biggest oil production in all of islands. It's going to be absolutely insane. We're going to take that boy over there. We're going to extract it into pumps. We're going to take all kinds of different things. We're going to be splitting all of the different uh, like oil vats and oil deposits and everything into different of like different um, oil refineries to actually produce all the different things even faster. There's only one thing that I really badly want to figure out. And that is if it's possible to put two oil pumps into a single line of oil, like, uh, like what do you call it? Tanks. Keep forgetting the word. Because if I can actually do that, guys, I can make one system that is infinitely expandable to produce oil. And I just keep buying different oil, like what do you call it? Like different deeds. And I keep pumping more and more oil into it. That would be possible if there's a way to put two pumps into one. Now, I'm pretty confident that it is actually possible. Let me explain. I just thought of this. What you can do is you can turn it into a barrel and then you can also, I think you can automatically extract it. Used to extract oil from barrels. So yeah, you have the barrels and you can extract the oil from them and this puts the oil into them. I think what you can do is you can make it so every single one of your pump jacks go, goes into their own fuel barrel filler. So it fills the fuel barrel and then it drops it onto a conveyor and then it picks, they all get picked up by the same extractor. So it takes the oil barrels and makes it liquid again. And if you do that, you should be able to make an incredible system, guys. I'm so excited. I'm going to be a rich oil prince and I know it. And guys, with that, I'm going to be ending off today's video. If you haven't already, like the video and subscribe to the channel. I will see you all in the next one, guys. I'm very excited about this series. This is going to be a lot of fun and I'll see you later, boys. Peace out, everyone. And bye-bye.